In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Today we celebrate on this, on this great day the memory of that first, in the sense, of the myrrh-bearing women. That woman who brought myrrh and anointed Christ, pouring it on his head and wiping his feet with her, with her hair, washing his feet with her tears. This incredible act of humility, this remarkable act of love, and this profound sense of repentance is something that we need, we need to, to emulate. And I think it's so important for us to realize that no matter how much we've messed up our life, no matter how much we've sinned, no matter what kind of sins that we've done, no matter what's been done to us, no matter how uh, deeply we have allowed ourselves to fall into despair, no, mu no matter how much we hate ourselves, and we hate the, what we've done and what we've become and, and, uh, and even the life that we live, that Christ is always ready to receive us always ready to receive and to heal and to raise us up, to heal the despair, to heal the pain, to heal the shame, to banish the shame and to, and, and to bring us through his grace, his forgiveness, and his love. To that that place which we can barely even imagine. A place of purity, a place of, of openness, a place of receptivity and gratitude for his love. We have this woman as, who is, whose name we, is not given to us, but this story is told in memory of her now for 2,000 years. So as we, as we go through this day, let us think about this woman, her great act of love, her great act of humility, and contrast it with that, that profound act of selfishness that is the lot of Judas, who out of his his self-obsession throughout of his own agendas, throughout of his own greed, throughout of his heartlessness, betrayed the master and gave him over to death. The one anointed him for his burial. The other made sure that he would be killed. So as we contemplate these two figures that the church holds before us this day, uh, this day when we remember that, that holy first woman, woman who bore myrrh and anointed the Lord, as well as the betrayal of Judas, let us make sure that we are, that we follow her image and her, and her example and not that of Judas. But how important it is for us to be mindful of Judas's sin as well. And that even from that, there could be repentance. Even from that, there could be forgiveness. Which he rejected out of his pride. So this marks the end of the, uh, and momentarily we'll do the, the, the uh, this marks the end of the Lenten um, style services. This marks the end of, of, the, uh, of the bridegroom cycle. And we enter into the great feast of Holy Thursday. And let us give thanks to God as we prepare ourselves, having already received that illumination of the Holy Mysteries 
that we might be further illumined as we partake tomorrow of, of the life-giving body and blood of the Master as we commemorate his, uh, uh, his uh, initiation his, uh, of, the, of, the, of, the, of the Eucharist at the Last Supper. Благословение Господи на вас, Тего благодати человека любим, всегда ныне призно и во веки веков. Thank you.